hey guys welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing where kali linux so till now i have shown you how we can go ahead and get access into that or how we can go ahead and gather information about any specific people but this time now i will actually go ahead and gather much better information and i will teach you how we can go ahead and gather information and i will show you uh, by gathering some actual information let's say such as gathering credit card details or debit card details of any specific person but the uh, thing i would be showing you would be the expired credit cards and uh, not the actual credit cards because i don't want to go ahead and spoil any random person's image so let's start by normal stuff such as meta google and golink scan before i proceed uh, starting with these uh, tools i'd like to tell you something about email footprinting and uh, how we can go ahead and gather information about that so if you have if someone has sent you a random email then what you need to do is just go ahead and you want to go ahead and check the geolocation or any specific thing email tracking is a method that helps you to monitor as well as track the emails of a particular user this kind of tracking is possible through digitally timestamp records to reveal the time and date and the geolocation the read duration proxy detection as to when it was read and from where it was read and things similar to that it provides uh, information about the server type of server used by the recipient as well so similarly you can also go ahead and gather a similar information using the email header so you can just go ahead and open a random a google account and you can go ahead and check if someone has sent you an email you can go ahead and check uh, the show original option on the right hand side then uh, you can go ahead and gather much more information about the ip addresses from where it was sent and much more so after tracking email let's come back to our original point of meta google google hacking database and the hack honeypots and google hacks that we can see so uh, these things are quite different from the normal footprinting things so these are the tools used by google to go ahead and gather information about us so footprinting using google hacking techniques is quite different google hacking refers to the art of creating complex search engines uh, queries and in mysql probably so if you can construct proper queries you can retrieve valuable data about a target company or a person through google search results through google hacking an attacker tries to find websites that are vulnerable to Uh, numerous exploits and vulnerabilities so and this can be accomplished with the help of google hacking database uh, that is ghdb a database of queries to identify sensitive data and google operators can help um, uh, finding in the required text and avoiding irrelevant data and using advanced google operators attack uh, can locate specific strings of text that has uh, specific versions of vulnerable application so i'll be teaching you today about how we can go ahead and gather much more information i'll show you some basic examples at first and then finally i'll go ahead and teach you how we can go ahead and gather let's say how hackers gather credit card information via internet just for example so to start with we'll start with the first thing that is uh, period site the period site operator in google helps to find only pages related to a specific url so i'll just go ahead and show you a few examples let's say i want to gather information about let's say and just to be uh, precise let's say i want to find uh, information about a specific person or a specific vehicle uh, on only a specific website so the most famous site for a vehicle would be let's say for example for a bike it would be for xbhp website and i want to inform uh, want information about some random let's say some random bike or a person so for this tutorial i'll be using a, a bike because i don't want to go ahead and uh, break any privacy laws of any specific person so i'll just take a random bike let's say for example we have let's say a random bike for honda and i'll take a honda let's say any random bike let's say honda activa which is quite famous these days and i want it only on a specific website so i'll just type site colon and i'll type www.xbhp.com so when i go and hit enter i'll only get results uh, related to xbhp.com as you can see that all these websites are only of xbhp so let's say uh, as my name uh, i would be checking if i want to go and gather information about a specific person let's say my or uh, any random person says adam smith so i'll type adam smith site colon www.facebook.com and when i hit enter i'll get all the profiles with the name of adam smith uh, on the facebook so i don't need to actually go and search any random person uh, or any uh, go through any random links it's uh, all the links are quite visible by using the site so the site operator in google helps to find only pages that belong to a specific url after that we have all in url option so this operator finds the required pages or websites by restricting the results containing all query terms 
then we have the in url so that means that if i want to search anything and if i type let's say i want any random name inside the url as you can see that we have uh, adam smith over here so i'll just type let's say i want to type let's i'll take a different name and i'll type in url that means site really facebook.com and in url i want let's say adam i'll take a different name this time let's say michelle so as you can see that I'll get all the websites with the name of uh, Facebook and with the URL we have Mich that has Michelle inside that only with the specific thing. So in this way I can go ahead and gather information. So in this way if I go ahead and add, keep on adding uh, different let's say different queries to this I'll get much more information to that. After we have all in title and it uh, all in title uh, command that restricts results to only pages that contain all the queries that you have specified. So if I go ahead and type let's say all in title and I'll type let's say network camera network camera and if I go ahead and let's say I'll just open a random first link so it will open all uh, websites that has network camera in its title and if I go ahead and see okay so this is not a good website I'll just go ahead and check like I'll open this one so just let that open so as you can see that I can actually see the camera of this specific uh, of this uh, random location. I don't know where it is exactly, but I can see this thing. So you can see that it is live and these other cameras are disabled and this is the normal camera or if I go ahead and check this way, I, now you know that how we can go ahead and hack into any CCTV camera that we want. So after that we have in title query that restricts results to only pages that contain query term that you have specified and it only shows websites that mention the query term that you have. We have in anchor, so uh, in anchor and all in anchor text that results uh, that restricts pages to containing all query terms you specify in the anchor text. So uh, you might wonder that what a hacker can do with Google hacking. If a target website is vulnerable to Google hacking then the attacker can find information such as error messages that contain sensitive information, file containing passwords or sensitive directories or pages containing logon portals, pages containing network or vulnerability data, advisories and server vulnerabilities. After that we have Google advanced search option as you can see that there are different search tools and if you go ahead and click over here you can see the advanced search option. So this will go ahead and search everything that you want any specific thing and it will use the Google queries automatically. But rather than this I would always prefer uh, using the queries if you want to gather any information. You can also use the cache query and I'll show you let's say C-A-C-H-E and I'll type let's say let's say grinder. So I'll get all the things as you can see over here we have a small tick mark and if I go ahead and check cast web page it will take me to the cast web page that was used previously. So in this way what a hacker can do is that let's say I'll type um, site flipkart I'll just type www.amazon.in and I'll type cast let's say flash drive and if I hit enter let's see what we get as you can see we have everything starting with uh, the site Amazon and we have the cast if I go ahead and check the cast web page so if uh, the uh, let's say Amazon website is not clear in keeping the cache memories then what may happen let's say for example the Amazon has has this 3G data traveler uh, let's say on uh, uh, 30th of December as let's say any uh, specific 